Today, we will be discussing a use case where we use some of the Microsoft Office tools to connect to Orchestrator Studio to grab item price and availability and display it outside of JD Edwards. My name is Anthony Palmasano, and I'm an experienced manager at Grant Thornton. I specialize in automation, process improvement, and implementation. I designed today's Orchestrator solution and look forward to showing you the automation. But first, let's take a look at the requirements I designed around. For today's demonstration, I use the following requirements to define the automation. We want to have the ability to not have to log into JD Edwards. Basically, a salesperson can be able to use a mobile app on their phone while in the field or on a tablet, whatever they need to do, just mobile. Uh, the ability to check the price and availability of an item for a specific customer at a specific branch plant. And these are the common inputs for the check price avail and availability function in JD Edwards. We only want the fields needed on a single screen, so basically no other navigation within this app or mobile app. And we only want to use our, our current tool set. So how did we accomplish this? The first thing I did was to find the two business functions that calculate price and provide item availability. I have them listed here on the screen. I created an orchestration to include all these objects. In the first step in the flow, I used the calculate price business function. The second box there is a data request to get the item short ID for the item availability business function because it doesn't accept the second item number. Finally, I use the item availability business function as the last step. Now let's take a look at the tool I use to send this data and display the response from the orchestration. This video is not sponsored by Microsoft. This is simply a use case to take advantage of the tools that your enterprise may have. I have access to the Microsoft Office Suite, so in this case, I decided to use Microsoft Power Apps to create a mobile app that a customer service rep could use in the field, at a customer site, or really anywhere. Here on the right side of the slide is a portion of the Microsoft Power App that I created. The app has all the fields needed for the user to inquire on the item price and availability for that customer at that branch plant. When the user clicks the Submit button on the Power App, it displays the data that's returned from JD Edwards Orchestrator Studio. On the next slide, we'll, we will review how we connected the Power App and Orchestrator Studio. But first, I want to mention that these Power Apps are a somewhat advanced approach for a novice. I would suggest getting comfortable with the tool by watching some videos or doing a simple walkthrough from the internet. I started as a novice with this tool and got comfortable with it fairly quickly. A citizen developer could easily take up the task of learning this tool. Now let's see how we connected the Power App to Orchestrator Studio. There are several videos and walkthroughs on how to use Power Automate, so I'm not going to go into that much detail here. It is similar to Orchestrator Studio in the fact that you can automate a process with variables and make API calls. There's much more to it than that, but for this use case, I used these options. To be called from a Power App, send an HTTP request as an API call, and respond to a Power App. Then you can see in that last bullet, the actual HTTP request that I made as an API call to the orchestrator environment. That first block of red text is the actual URL for the orchestrator studio environment. Then the last red block of text there is the actual name of the orchestration. Now we will walk through a demo of how this Power App works. Now in JD Edwards, let's take a look at an item price and availability that we're going to check in the price checker app. So if I navigate to P4074, which is our check price and availability app, I'll look up uh, Capital Systems here. They want to buy a red mountain bike uh, from branch plant M30. So here, um, if I do a quick search, when we go to the price checker app, we're expecting $798.99 for the price of that. If we go look at the availability of that item, um, there's 85 available. Okay, so keep that in mind and let's now go over to the price checker app. So here in the price checker app, um, you can see I have these fields defined as inputs. I'm going to put in the red mountain bike, item number 210, customer number for capital city or capital systems is 4242, branch point is M30. Uh, we'll do quantity of one. So when I hit the submit button, it's going to call Power Automate, which in turn calls Orchestrator Studio and returns uh, back our price and available um, items 
So when I hit submit, we're expecting 798.99 in the price field and 85 in the available field. Now let me take a second here. And that's exactly what we got returned. So you can see how easily this can be used on a mobile device like a tablet or a phone while you're out in the field or a salesperson's out in the field uh, to quickly check a price and availability of an item for a specific customer. Um, this can be downloaded to your phone, to a, a tablet, as long as you have Microsoft Office 365 um, installed or you know a subscription to that, you can use these Power Apps. Next, let's look at some things you need to consider if you are going to build out a Power App like this. So some things you need to consider when building out a use case like this with the Microsoft Power App. First of all, not all enterprises are using the Microsoft Office Suite, so that is a requirement first and foremost. Then you should review the subscription model that you have with Microsoft Office and the pricing of those uh, using the Power Apps and Power Automate. And then thirdly, take a look at the Orchestrator API documentation and how to properly uh, use the HTTP request and call those from Power Automate and also get a response back from Orchestrator Studio to display it in your Power App. And finally, um, if you're not familiar with using Power Automate and Power Apps, consider getting some training or going on to uh, YouTube or anywhere like that that has some videos that you can watch to get up to speed on how to use those tools. So next, let's take a look at what went well um, with this use case and the solution we designed. So let's discuss what went well with the solution we designed. We wanted to remove the need to log into JD Edwards and then also be able to check for the price and availability of a specific item at a specific branch plant for a specific customer. We wanted to do that from a mobile device or a computer and also use the current tool set that we had. So since we had Microsoft Office at our fingertips, we'd use that tool. We also built a power app that can be used on a mobile device to check the price and availability of an item. So I would say that was a success. How can our Grant Thornton team help you? We are from multiple services to assist with your JD Edwards install or implementation. Anything from a multiple day orchestrator training session to optimizations and enhancements of your current install and full blown JD Edwards implementations. Feel free to reach out via that email below and I thank you for your time today. Bye bye.